Hi everyone, this is Becky Tovis with Crafty Chamarita. I'm not coming to you live today mostly because I'm still coughing and I don't want to take the chance on having my hacking cough disrupt everything. So this is pre-recorded. I wanted to share with you what I did with the June paper pumpkin. So not only did I put the cards together as shown, this is how it looks like, but I also did alternatives and then I wanted to show you the thought processes behind it. So hopefully that will give you inspiration for uh, your cards. The first alternative I used with this part of the one of the pieces. So instead of using this side, I turned it around this way and I colored it using the blending brushes. And I used um, Petunia Pop and Pretty in Pink and I just colored it. I'm not gonna do it for you right now, but I will show you the end result. And I got this. So I knew I wanted to use a petunia, uh, what is that, petunia pop. And I wanted to use pink with it. So this is the end result. And then I took the um, the vellum piece here and I also used um, the, the blending brushes and I colored it in pretty and pink. And I left the hello here. And then I just put a, a petunia pop ribbon there. So this card focused on this piece here coloring that piece. The next card started off with this piece. And again, I wanted to color it because I didn't want the pink. So what I did was I colored it using the peach pie. And then later on, I used those dyes. And this is the card that I came up with. So I colored this piece here and then I stamped it, thanks. This is the stamp that comes in the set. And then I used the coordinating die to cut a piece on top. So it looks like it's shadowed, right? So this piece started off with this as the focal point, right? And then I knew I wanted to use that stamp there. And then what I also did was I took the pearls that come with it and I colored it with, um, the alcohol pen using the dark poppy parade. And that's how I got that color here. So that color is poppy parade. And if you're wondering why I chose that, it's one of the coordinating colors that comes for this stamp, uh, for this kit. And the information for that is in the back of the kit. Okay, my next card started off with this piece in the kit. It looks like this originally, but I didn't want to use that color. I wanted to color the back part and I thought, you know what, wouldn't it be so great if I took one of the pieces here, because it's meant to be like a peach, right? But I said, you know what, I bet you I can make this look like a pumpkin. And so what I did was I wanted to focus on fall colors and I simply drew lines down here. It kind of looks like a pumpkin, right? And I used these three colors, crushed curry, pumpkin pie, and old olive, which are fall colors. And I just used my blend blending brushes um, to make that color. And then the last card also focuses on this piece. And I thought, you know what? I can make this look like an apple. So I turned it around and I used my blending brushes again. This time around, I used real red for the apple and I just used garden green for the leaf. And that's what I did in the bottom. So I made this look like an apple and who do you give apples to? Teachers, right? So then I used the mini alphabet dies to cut out the word teacher. And that became my card. So these are the alternatives using the different pieces in the kit. And I wanted to share with you how I came up with my ideas for my cards. So hopefully that will give you inspiration, right? All right, sorry this is a short video. I don't wanna push it and end up coughing all over you guys. Uh, if you're interested in getting this kit, I have extras. If you are not a Paper Pumpkin um, subscriber, uh, I have extras. And if you are interested in Paper Pumpkin and you would like to subscribe, please contact me and I'll let you know how you can do it. Bye. Have a wonderful day.